Hey, it's Mark here from DynamiteStocks.com. Today I made a couple trades. The first one I'm going to look at is my position trade though, Tuesday morning. Tuesday is a retailer that is breaking down still. Today you can see it, it went up a good bit and uh, it broke that downtrend. But it printed a hammer, so I'll probably stop out. Uh, if it goes above this, I'm gonna set a stop for that. If it hits like uh, 626 or something like that, but I mean, it still could go down more because it's printed hammers or it's printed uh, shooting stars before rather, and uh, it has some good volume today. But I'm still, I still want to be short this. So we'll see what it does. The other two, the two trades I made this morning were, uh, I made a couple trades in Caterpillar, Cat, and uh, Leyte Semiconductor. The Semiconductor LSCC was one I was holding. Uh, I've been holding it for a while, and I'm just gonna get it pulled up so we can see it here. And the, there we go. And this one, this one I I bought the breakout. I bought the breakout at um, 470. So I bought it here, and was expecting the breakout to continue because it had this nice trend line going. It had uh, this trend going right here. So I bought it. I bought the breakout here anticipating more run and then uh, the next day I didn't have a, a stop set because I didn't expect that much volatility but it 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 basically fell pretty hard on uh, the other day so I was looking to just I was looking this morning I was looking to sell this really quickly to minimize any more loss and it, it broke this trend line that it was in this up this uptrend. So I was, I was thinking, you know, it's a pretty bad candle. I mean, it's no way it's gonna. I was hoping to maybe get out up here, like up here, because I had no idea what it was gonna do. I mean, it just totally surprised me and uh, opened up higher and then just ran. So as soon as I got, as soon as I saw it at 450, let's pull let's pull up the entry day. As soon as I saw it hit 450. This is the today it went crazy. So I was looking at it right I was looking at it in the morning and it was really strong off the off the open. So I let it run up to 450 and at 450 that's not much of a uh, ways off from where I bought it. So I figured out I could minimize some some loss there. So I sold a little more than half the position here. At 450, and with the possible with the idea, you know, going that it could go lower or higher. So, and of course, it went higher. <laughs> amazingly, I mean, it just went straight up, and it went up to 470. And at 470, when I saw it hit 470, I went ahead and sold it right up here. I sold the rest of it, the other about half of, of it, and. So it turned out not to be as bad as it was if I, had, you know, if I uh, had to take a bigger, bigger loss on that. If it just dropped, I mean, amazingly, it it's just an amazing comeback it did. I mean, it dropped here huge, and then it it's it basically bullish engulfed that whole day. I mean, it very well could run tomorrow, could go up tomorrow, but. I mean, I was just happy to cut my loss with a smaller loss than I was anticipating. So that's all of that one. Caterpillar reported reported earnings this morning. Their earnings were bad, and I don't think anybody expects them to be good. And I didn't realize because I, I saw this this good earnings calendar on Twitter, and you can see the downtrend. 
Caterpillar. Caterpillar has been very really struggling. And this is down. It's been down for months. A very, very strong downtrend. And the top line was off. The, their earnings, I mean, their revenue was down, worse than expected. And it was just, it was just a horrible quarter. And uh, but right here, you can see where it opened up. It opened up down, down at four. I mean, down at uh, about sixty-eight. So I was watching it pre-market because the earnings came out before the market opened, and. I was thinking, man, I wish I had gotten short yesterday because, I mean, it just, it gapped down so big. I mean, it gapped down. Well, let's look at it on the intraday. I mean, it, it was looking pretty nasty. It was down about 1.5%. It was down about, yeah, one about 120, 150% one, uh, in the morning. And um, here's the entry day. So you can see there's the there's pre market. It's down a bunch, and it was and surprisingly at the open it it got strong. So I was looking. So I still wanted to get short because I figured what I would do is it would gap down and then run up and then come down and just actually go lower and lower all day because that's what it has done in the past and what you know a bearish stock will do a stock is getting hit with bad news you know bad earnings and um but what it, it did the opposite of what i expected really it it uh it was strong all day it was strong in the morning and so what i did was i i wanted to get short at about uh, 69.09 right here, and uh, so I put an order. I put an order in, but I messed. I, I messed up on the order. I instead of shorting it, I bought it. So I bought the shares. So I went long at 69.09. It was just a a bad. I mean, I messed up. I messed up because by default it'll buy the the cursor is over the it's highlighted to buy so instead of shorting I bought shares I, I went long at 6909 <laughs> and uh which is actually pretty good so that mess up worked out for me because I was holding it through you know through all most of this run and uh by the time I realized it you know I was like well hey I gotta I gotta gain anyway and my my thesis hadn't changed much that the downtrend was strong and it was still in that downtrend and I wanted to get short so I I sold my shares for a gain at about 70 I think it was in the 70s right here and uh well actually it's closer to here in the morning before 10 o'clock is when I sold and so as soon as I sold I was shorted I flipped it because the entry for the short was great because it was the stop loss is pretty evident so I shorted it at uh, 70 or in, around the 70s and then I put a stop loss at uh, 70 71.50 because that would pretty much prove the downtrend was not working so I just let this one go and I stopped out at like 71.50 and it actually went all the way uh, it was up like three or four percent in a day and uh, so it kind of got I got lucky there in the beginning so it turned out to be not that bad you know kind of offset the loss on the short with the gain in the morning so yeah, that's what I did with Caterpillar. <laughs> and there hasn't been a whole lot else I'm, look, I'm looking at. Like I saw there was this one stock that was, was, uh, was, was a biotech that was up. It was down like 50% pre-market. And uh, everybody's talking about VRX, Valiant Pharmaceuticals. And Citron Research 
Citron's like a short biased company. I've talked about them in the past, but they put out a really bearish article on it, or more like exposing the the uh, the way their company's set up. That looks a little suspicious. And it's down. It's already down from like 200. I mean, if you look at the top, it was 260, and it's down to 90. I mean, it very well could bottom out soon, but there's, there's no edge, I and mean, it looks pretty bad. So that's what I did today. So it turned out to be not that bad. I mean, I made, I, I managed to salvage some loss in the LSCC semiconductor and. I had a good trade in cat and a bad trade in cat. So I had two trades in that, which kind of turned out to be more of a break even. And then uh, that's all I did pretty much. Because I only traded in the morning, it wasn't trading all day. So here's Tesla. Yeah, the other one, the one I look at is. MBLY. This one looks bearish at the moment, but I mean, this could be a trading range. So we don't know if it's going to break out of it or not, but I don't see a trade in that one really. I'll probably just take it off my watch list. If, it, if something's not really showing any kind of signal, I just take it off my watch list. I like to have. Ones I'm very confident on my watch list. Well, the other stuff I've got, I've, well, I've got a, I've got a long-term position in Planet Fitness, just because of the growth. It's like a, it's a, it's a growth stock, and it's fairly reasonably priced, and it's still in a, it's in a very long triangle now. It's just consolidated. For a long time, so I'm betting it's gonna go up, and uh, I may hedge into that because it's a long-term position. You know, I'm, I plan on holding it for a long time. So I may, if it starts to break down from here, I might go short to hedge. You know, we'll see. I, I, I'm still really bullish on it long term. Uh, pets, pets. I like pets long term. I haven't, I haven't bought any shares there, but because there's no, it's still, it's in a downtrend, and uh, this one's a good one too, long term. Wolf. Well, pets is a is a internet based pet medicine supplier. Well, pretty much everything related to your pet, as far as I know, they they uh, service people with pets and everybody's got a pet so or most people have a dog or a cat and uh, Wolf is a this one's a veterinary hosp hospital chain they're the actual vets the veterinarian you go to and they've got a lot of practices across the country or at least regionally they've, they've got a lot of a lot of veterinary practices So, not much really, not much that interesting right now. There's a whole bunch of earnings coming out this week. Um, uh, Google was surprising. Google was up 10%. And uh, yeah, who knows what the overall market will do. But uh, I'll, just look, I'll just keep looking for these uh, good setups in individual stocks. This is Mark signing off, dynamitestocks.com.